Hey comrades, I'm about to go over the installation for the Rattel kit. That's what I kind of have to call it. It's basically a honey badger though. If you look up Rattel, you might learn something. Anyway, for the Tipman TMC. Here's how you should have stripped down your TMC, which is all pretty basic in the instruction manual. Taking off the pistol grip, the handguard, and the buttstock. The one tip that's, or the one uh, part that's probably not quite usual, and no one's probably done too much before, is you do have to remove this rear buffer tube, the plastic part. First step would be punching out the pin. It does have to be punched out from the left, from with the left for the dust cover is, to the, oh I'm sorry, no that's the right, from the right side to the left where the fire selector is. Yeah. So once you get that punched out, you may need some pliers to remove it because it is in there pretty tight. So there's the pin and you can see why it has to go only one way. Set that off to the side, we will be using it again. And then wiggle this off. A flathead screwdriver helps to get in the crack and pop her off. Careful, you may lose this. And this is the reason why an air and stock would be so difficult to accomplish because the hammer actually comes back into the buffer tube like about yay far. Anyway, we're not going to go over that. So here's the included stock cap. That'll probably be the first step to the assembly. Uh, for the little solid hole right there. And that's where your firing pin or hammer pin will go. Squeeze that in. That hammer will travel. Tap it in, it should be really tight. And then put the pin back in. And that should be more tapping. nice and tight in. Okay, so we'll get to the stock in a minute. I'd actually already removed the pin, but this is the one bolt that secures the handguard to the receiver. Take that out. Take your Rotel handguard. Slide that on. Put your pin in. You can use the included Tipman Allen keys or a standard Three millimeter Allen key seems to work just fine, and then nice. That's nice and solid in there. No wiggle, and it'll take a fall. Next, we'll do the pistol grip. Loosen all of these uh, metric bolts first, as I did not do. Put the back piece on, making sure none of the nuts in the back fall out. Line that up. Take your top piece, or your left piece, and slide that right over. And all the bolts should slide somewhat in. Take your 3mm Allen key again, and secure each of those bolts. The ones you really want to pay attention to are these bottom two right here. Make sure they are nice and tight because that is what's securing your ASA. And boom, new pistol grip, no over molded rubberized, weird looking stuff. And of course the cream of the Rattel kit crop would be the buttstock right here. Here's how it comes shipped. Go ahead and take it out. Put these two buttons right here. Take the bolt that's included on this stock cap and there's a nut inside here that that is going to bolt into. Slide that down in there, 4mm Allen key, while holding these buttons because if you let go of these buttons they may spring out. And 
that's all that they're only held in there by the actual stock itself. Slide that on while still holding those buttons and simply fasten it. That's it. Go ahead and slide your stock back on. One click, two click installed.